put it aside. <laughs> Game old. What's up you guys? I am Megumi aka Tiffany. I am a cosplayer from Belgium and most of you guys know me from Instagram as Megumi Chan X. So I got this idea to create a series of a couple of videos explaining how I get into cosplay, like how I choose my costume, how I choose my wig, my contacts, the makeup I put on, and all the things related to getting into cosplay actually. And I got the perfect name for this series and it will be called Cosplay 101. Yes, I know it sounds cringy, but I thought it was the perfect name for this series as I will be giving advice on how to get into cosplay. So Cosplay 101 it is. So the idea is to make a couple of videos going over different aspects of cosplaying or how to get started with cosplaying a certain character. So I chose one character that I will complete in these videos and I chose Minami Kotori, um, her wedding dress version. I will show you the process of completing this character Step by step, I will show you guys how to get to the character that you want to cosplay. So I will show you guys how to get from this to this. So today's video will be the first video of the series and it will be about the most important thing we need to consider when it comes to cosplay. The costume. So let's get started. So how do we get to the perfect costume that we need for that one character we always wanted to cosplay? Well, that's the big question of today's video. We actually have two options when it comes to getting to the costume that we want. The first option, DIY or do it yourself. I'm not very experienced at the DIY thing, but I do know a little about it and I will explain the things that I do know. So what do we need to keep in mind when it comes to the DIY thing? Number one, a sewing machine. Yes, a sewing machine is expensive, but it does make miracles happen, believe me. Once you get to know how to work with a sewing machine, it will take less time to finish that costume that you want to make. And it's pretty easy to work with. You need to practice a lot, but it's easy. So get yourself that perfect sewing machine. Number two, fabric choosing. I am a person who wants to feel the fabric before she buys it. So I will never buy a fabric online. But that's because I'm probably not experienced enough to know my fabric types. I just need to feel it because I want to know if it's the fabric type that I'm looking for or if it's just workable for me. But if you make a lot of your costumes yourself, I'm sure that you'll be able to order your fabrics online eventually and that's probably a bit cheaper than going to your local fabric store, depending on where you live. Number three, patterns. A good friend once told me that I can create my own patterns through my own clothing. And it worked once. I tried it with a plain shirt, created a top for a cosplay that I wanted to create, and it kind of worked. It's a lot cheaper when you do it like this, but if you want to play safe, just buy your patterns online and just make your cosplay out of the patterns online. Number four, never give up. Believe me, you will fail a thousand times more than you will succeed. But just never give up, just try again. And if you don't feel like it, just stop, put down the project, just leave it on the side, just do something else and once you get that courage back to work on it again, take back the project and work on it and you'll see, you'll succeed eventually. Okay, so that's it for the DIY part. Now let's go to option two. Option two, buy the costume online. I myself am a cosplayer who buys her cosplays most of the time. Because I work a lot and I do not have a lot of time, I don't make my cosplays myself. Buying a cosplay may seem easy. Believe me, there are some things that you need to consider when you're buying a cosplay. Number one, reviews. Believe me when I say that you never read enough reviews. Reviews are the perfect way to actually get to know a certain store where you want to buy your cosplay. Fellow cosplayers will put down their experiences online about certain stores and this is the perfect way to get to know if the store is good or not. Number two, stores that I use. The Minami Kotori wedding dress that I'm going to show you guys that I'm going to complete throughout these videos. Well, the costume, I got this one from Iwopo. I definitely love the service they're giving. I love the quality that they're giving for a very good price. I just love the store Uwo. But there are also a lot of other stores where I buy my cosplays, like Cosplay Sky, Sky Costumes, Roll Cosplay and Mick Costumes. Those are very good stores and you should totally check them out. I will put the links down in the description below for you to check out those stores. Number three, don't feel bad. A lot of cosplayers will make you feel bad because you buy your own costume. 
they say that if you don't make your own costume, that you're not a good cosplayer. Well, that is complete Why did you bleep me out? I just said bananas! Anyways, it's not because you buy a costume that you're not a good cosplayer. A good cosplayer to me is someone who's having fun and someone who enjoys being the character they love. So don't feel bad when you buy your costume. Just enjoy being the character you love and have fun. That's what makes you a good cosplayer. So those were the two options when it comes to the costume. You either make it yourself or you buy it. Anyways, we're all amazing cosplayers no matter what option you choose. Okay, so we got the costume already. We're not there yet, but the next video of Cosplay 101 will be about the wig. So stay tuned for the next video. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment and subscribe to my channel. If you don't, that's okay. Thanks for watching and see you guys on the next Cosplay 101. Bye bye!